Headings, not to be confused with headers. You've probably seen them before if you've been in a forum post. However, not everyone knows how to actually make them, but Discord has recently added a functionality where you can do this formatting in normal messages, so it's not just limited to forum posts anymore. And another thing you could always do in forum posts is bulleted lists. And just like with headings, you can also do that in normal messages. You could always achieve bulleted lists before, but this was done by copying bullet points from an external website and pasting them in. This was always an adequate way to do it, but the way I'm going to show you today is more of an official way to do it, and it's basically indents the text rather than just a single line. So how do we make this bigger text? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information channel here which I actually made a while ago you may recognize it if you saw my video on how to make good looking information channels and if you haven't there will be a card at the top right of the video I don't know why I'm pointing because you can't see that and then maybe come back here after so we can make these headings here a lot bigger so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this one down here and I've got a list here I can actually bullet point those so this is a perfect example so I'm gonna quickly restore this embed here and by clicking that link it will basically recreate the embed for me so I can edit it bear in mind this is all irrelevant if you don't necessarily want to make embeds this is possible in normal messages but I'm I'm just going to show you how to do it in an embed but the process is exactly the same okay so i pasted the webhook url so i can actually post this embed now let me just open the body field here this is where i put all the text and i'm going to zoom in a bit for you so previously how i did titles was literally i just used the title field here and subheadings i just bolded text and that's the way most people have done it for quite a while so how do we make this text bigger well let me show you if you've ever designed a website before you may have heard of these tags or these text styles whatever they're called for example h1 h2 h3 and paragraph this is a very similar thing let's expand this here i'm going to start with the title up here <coughs> now we don't actually need to put a title field we can leave that blank luckily it's only when you're using fields that you need to put something in a field name because i don't actually know if you can use these headings in field names i haven't tried it out but you can do that if you want otherwise you want to put an empty character or empty emoji here but if you're not using fields you don't need to worry about all that i'm not going to be so i want to make this text bigger here so i'm going to take this out of the title field this formatting does not work in embed titles so all i'm going to do is i'm going to paste this here and i'm going to put two spaces and if i just quickly make this bold here it will essentially look very similar to how it did when i put it in a title field just a tiny bit smaller that's all but we're going to make it even bigger than the title so how do we do that all we want to do is we want to go to the beginning of this text here. This is a text we want to make into a heading and we're going to type a hashtag. For a lot of people that would be shift three and put a space. Otherwise this should not work. Hashtag and a space and that's all you need to do. I'm just going to send this quickly to show you what it looks like. So as you can see this is already much bigger than it was up here. So these headings can actually get quite large which is a very cool thing. There's only two downsides that I can recognize at the moment. One is it leaves quite a bit of space between the top of the embed whereas that wasn't really a problem here. That may just be because the title field is blank but as you can see if I put this in the title field it won't work so that's why we're avoiding the title field and instead putting it in the description and leaving the title blank and the other downside is emojis for some reason appear quite low down the only way to avoid that and so the emoji is actually aligned with the text vertically is you can use a straight way you can surround the emoji in these symbols here they're called grave symbols they're essentially backward apostrophes it should be right by your escape key function escape might work for you and if we send that as you can see the emoji is now aligned with the text there is this black box around it obviously so you may not want that but anyway i'm not going to have it like that so essentially Essentially, as I was saying before, if you've ever made a website before, there's those tags H1, H2, and H3. I believe this is essentially the H1 tag we're doing here. Now, there are actually varying levels of headings, different sizes. So how do we achieve those? Literally, all we need to do is take what we've already done and put another hashtag. And let's send that. There we go. Now the text is quite a bit smaller than this one up here. This is the biggest heading we could do. This is the medium size. The smallest heading you can do is three hashtags. So put three there. Now, this is a lot smaller and the emoji is actually aligned vertically. So just go through again. This is the biggest heading here. This is the second biggest. And this is the smallest heading you can have. And then this is just regular bold text, how we've always done it. So that's how we make bigger headings. Now, I did touch on bulleted lists earlier. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to set this back to medium size because that's the one I like. Now, all we have to do is we want to go to the front of the text that we want to make into a bullet point and put a hyphen or dash, whatever you want to call it, a minus sign and put a space. And what I'm doing is I'm indenting the roles here. So we've put one bullet point here. Let's see what it looks like. So as you can see, there is a bullet point here. So let's keep doing that. And there we go. All these roles have bullet points now. Now obviously this text here is not indented as well. So how do we indent this subtext? All we need to do is put a space. That's literally all we need to do. So I'm going to do that for all these descriptions. And there we go. Looking much nicer, isn't it? Now, there is one more thing we can do with this. I'm just going to get rid of these spaces here. Again, we're going to want to put a space. 
put a hyphen and put another space because you'll want to put a space between the text and the hyphen here. So previously we just put a hyphen and a space. Now we want to put a space before the hyphen and obviously after it as well. And what does that do? Well, let's send it. But what this does right here, I'm actually going to zoom in. This adds a, basically an outline bullet point. It's essentially like a sub bullet, I guess you can call it. So if you want a bullet point within a bullet point, that's how you do that. Personally, I wouldn't do this. It won't really make sense in this embed, I don't think. So we've got the main bullet points and then we've got these sub bullet points right here. Looking quite nice, isn't it? And that might be where you want to add sub bullets if you want to have multiple bullet points under that. You may want to be cautious when using these bulleted lists because I'm mobile at the moment if I see what this looks like they're essentially just very dark bullet points and don't really work quite like this I don't think it indents text really so I don't know if that's something discord is working on so that's how we do all that if you want to learn how to make good looking information channels like this click this video now check out my high quality collection of all the emojis roll icons and headers you will ever need to make a breathtaking server at anode.gumroad.com slash al slash assets oh yeah there's a free option too the most beautiful server you can imagine is waiting for you it's all in your hands now